What is up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. The video that I've been talking about for so so long is finally here and it is Baby Girl's Nursery Tour. So I have my fiance behind the camera filming this video for us today. You're not going to say hi everyone, you're just going to- Okay. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Hello world. Greetings. Hello. <laughs> hey everyone. Hey everyone. So I'm going to start from this side of the room and work my way around. I know that everyone says this when they do like tours and stuff, but honestly, the room is not 100% done. But if I were to wait until it was done, then it would just never happen because we're always going to be upgrading stuff in the rooms. So it's pretty much ready and I'm really, really excited about it. But there's no decor on the walls yet besides obviously her beautiful wallpaper. This wallpaper took us forever. <laughs> But it turned out so, so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. But that is the only thing on the walls right now. So we are still looking for wall decor, but we just don't have that yet. So starting in this corner, we have Baby Girl's Swing. I think the swing is so, so beautiful and so, so cute. We had a whole thing with the swing. I could not find any pink swings from Graco. The reason I wanted to go with Graco is because it's a detachable swing to a bouncer. I had one for the boys and it was really, really convenient. So I wanted something similar, but this one is actually a lot smaller than the one that we had for the boys. So this actually detaches and then it's a baby bouncer. And that's so convenient for when I need to take a shower or cooking, whatever, you can just easily detach it and I can put her back on the actual swing portion of it. So moving on to probably my favorite thing besides the wallpaper. The wallpaper and this crib are my favorite things in this room. I absolutely love this crib. It is a four-in-one crib, so this will fit her until she's a teenager as long as it doesn't get ruined, but um, it turns into a full-size bed and I just love the background of it. I think it's so, so pretty. I know we have a lot of pink colors going on right now. Like there's so many different shades of pink. However, we do have other crib sheets. I just thought that this one was pretty for when I'm taking pictures straight on of her. So that's the one we have on it now. So moving over to this corner, we have the rocking chair and I absolutely love this. But again, I didn't know that this rocking chair had this pattern on it. I thought I was buying like a completely just solid gray rocking chair but whatever it's fine we're gonna make it work either way i don't think you can really notice from a distance it's mostly just when you're up close but it kind of adds something more fun to it i guess and again we have another shade of like a purpley pink blanket but i think that'll be convenient to just have there it's super soft and it matches the whole wallpaper anyway so it's just really hard to match a ton of different shades of pink to be honest with you. And then in the corner there, I do have my breast pump. I'm not 100% sure if I am going to be pumping or not yet, but it will be convenient to have next to the chair if I do decide to. Now moving on to this dresser here. This actually used to be our dresser, then it was the boys dresser, and now it's baby girls dresser. This just has a bunch of little things that I'll need for feeding since it's right next to the rocking chair. We have some bibs, blankets, wraps. I did put some of her little bummies. I don't know what you would call them. I call them bummies. I put those in there, some hats. This is just a little blanket, the activity scarf. If you saw what we got for our baby shower video. And then in this one, I have a couple more blankets, some crib sheets, and the changing pad sheet. Is that what you would call it? A changing pad cover. There we go. And then going up here, we had baby girl's name on this sign here, but we've decided that we're going to wait until she's born to tell everyone her name. Literally nobody knows her name. Not my family, not Luis's family, not anyone except for me and him. I know that the kids have heard us say her name, but I don't think that they know for sure that that's what her name is going to be. Um... But yeah, we've asked them if they like that name and they say yes. But yeah, nobody knows her name yet. So her name was on this letter board. I forgot I was going to put like baby girl so it would at least look 
more presentable for the video, but I forgot. <laughs> but then here, I got this from a FabFitFun. I actually announced my pregnancy with these little call these? I don't know what they're called. This picture frame doesn't even have a picture of our ultrasound in it. It's just what came out of the box. I still have to switch this. But that's where it's going to go. And then I have some of the books that she got here and then this cute little pacifier. Over here we have her car seat and her diaper bag that we are obviously going to be taking to the hospital with us. And then we get into... Probably another favorite of mine. So I love her closet. I actually found some DIY things on Pinterest when I was looking for closet inspiration for a girl. So up top we just have some baskets. This has extra bows, hats, cute little things. It has the milestone stickers, stuff that we're going to need. So we have all of her cute little dress outfits up here. And then I really, really like her hangers. They're like the velvety hangers with the pink on the top. Her bows over here, the bars are actually for pots and pans. It came with different hooks. But I purchased these other hooks separately so that I could hang all of her bows on there. So on the top one, we have all of her like bigger hats, bows, like your really chunkier ones. Ones that are going to be more bold. And then on the bottom, we have some of the smaller headbands. I absolutely love this first one right here. I think it is so, so pretty. And then going to the bottom of her closet, we have a stack of diapers, which is newborn size one and size two, and then some extra wipes. We have a boppy pillow that was purchased before, and I never even told Luis this. Did I tell you about the boppy pillow? That they're recalled now because... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I did. Just saw it on Facebook. I don't know if it'll be used or not now. Um, obviously, if it is used, it'll be used under good supervision. But yeah, it was recalled. Then that bucket in the back is just some toys and stuffed animals. And then we have a laundry hamper. And that's pretty much her closet. Going on to pretty much the last thing in her room is this dresser. I would like to put something up here. I don't know whether it be a mirror or a TV or I don't know I feel like a TV would be more convenient if we're being in this room like feeding her and rocking her and stuff then we could watch TV but a mirror would probably look more aesthetically pleasing and how often are you really going to be in here to watch TV but something does need to go here so right here we have her changing pad we have a little sign that says for you we have prayed and I got a couple stuffed animals here for her and then in her top drawer, we have all of her diapers and wipes. This will be so convenient to have the diapers and wipes right here. So when we're changing her, it's just easier to change her. The second drawer is where we have all of her like outfits that aren't being hung up, but they are an actual set. So they do have like the pants with them and they're just cute little sets. Down here, we have all of her onesies. So in this drawer, I have newborn short sleeve onesies, then zero to three month short sleeve onesies, and then newborn long sleeve onesies, and zero to three month long sleeve onesies. Then in this side, we have all of her socks, mittens, booties, and then some sleepers, but they're not like the footed sleepers, they're like the swaddles. Here we have all of her sleepers. And then in the bottom one, we still need to buy more pants, <laughs> but these are her pants for right now. Um, I think she'll be wearing a lot of like these type of things and not really need a ton, a ton of pants, but that is on our list to buy. I wanna buy like a six pack of neutral pants just so she has when she needs them. Oh, I also forgot behind us on the wallpaper, I want to add her name there in gold writing, um, but we haven't done that. All right guys, so I think that wraps up her nursery tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It would really, really mean a lot to us if you would subscribe and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.